I don't know everything about motors and stuff like that. I'm still learning, so it's I'm definitely curious to see what this combination will do. What's going on here, bud? I'm just prepping this uh, high ram intake. Go on top of our motor here. You got to put these nice little O-rings. You know, usually you know you have to put like gaskets and stuff, but they already milled out the grooves for the, uh, the rings. You know, I mean, it's there's so many things that can, that are a factor of what an intake will do to a motor. You know, like how big is a cubic inch, and especially a cam. A cam will really make it a big increase or not. Like the air intake just kind of helps the cam. So it really depends on like the cam, cubic inch of your motor. And we should see some pretty decent gains out of this. I don't want to give out, you know, an exact number because I don't really, you know, I don't dyno motors like all day, every day, and I don't change intakes all day, every day. So I'm really curious to see what this thing will do, but it will definitely help the motor breathe. Um, and also too, intakes help with where your uh, horsepower and your torque car curve are at. I'm hoping that it will actually bring our, our peak torque uh, lower into the RPM range. So instead of like high RPM, like at, you know, 6,000 RPMs, I want to see it like around like peak at 5,400 RPM. And you said you've, already, you've used this intake before. What kind of intake is this? Uh, this is a Holly High Ram intake. So the one that I used is was the same exact one, except the ports were different. Mine were rectangle. This is a cathedral port. So the cathedral, from what I hear, are actually better for boosted application, but mine was a rectangle. So this is, you know, my first time really messing with like a cathedral port style, which will be a huge learning curve for me. We got our O-rings on. I've already prepped uh, the manifold with, our, uh, with their Holly fuel rails, as well as their Holly 42 pound injectors. So this is a complete Holly setup right here, along with their uh, supplied and fittings that came with the fuel rail as well. A little tip, when you're putting injectors in, it's always good to lubricate the O-ring, uh, both top and bottom, before you put the injector in, because if it's not, you could possibly damage the O-ring. So when you swap out injectors or put brand new injectors, always kind of like just put a nice little light coat of oil on your injectors and then slip them in. So having the combo of the the new injectors, the new fuel rail, whole new intake, that's... The whole setup's brand new. And that's gonna make a substantial difference. Oh yeah, especially from stock. Because stock on that motor still is a very big manifold that definitely still has long runners. We chose a 92 millimeter throttle body instead of a 102. I'm, I'm not a firm believer in bigger is better. Um, so we were stuck with a 92 millimeter opening, which is a bigger throttle body opening than the factory. So we're already sucking in more air at the throttle body here. So that is honestly like the main key reason why we needed to swap out the manifold. The stock uh, throttle body isn't big enough for what we're trying to do with that cam. By runners, is, is that, those are just... Yeah, these are the intake runners right here. From what I've learned and what, from what I've been told, the longer the runner, so this is decently long. Sometimes they're really short, um, but the longer the runner, the uh, better torque you're gonna uh, see. Yeah, this thing's ready to go. Ready to go on the car. Cool. Slap this bad boy on. Soup.